So Alicia Keys is glamming up and getting down, I've heard, for a very good cause. She's invited some of her musical maestro's pals along for the journey, including Mark Ronson, Tiny Temper and Paloma Faith, who will all be performing at her annual Black Ball. It's presented by none other than our old pal, Eddie Caddy. And I've heard there's going to be a few A-listers milling around, so let's go see what's on their minds. We did this before, ready? Yeah, Let's try it. Okay, you start it off. All right, what's up, y'all? This is Alicia Keys. Swiss Beats. And you're watching. SBTV. Oh, yeah. Showtime. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one of the last times I saw you, when yes. you were setting out the O2. Yes. Are you hosting, casually hosting Alicia Keys on your wall? It's not casual. Right now, inside, I'm thinking, I was like, what am I going to say to her? What kind of conversation am I going to have? But no, it's an honor. It's a great honor. I think this is even beyond doing the O2 because there's a cause. With the O2, laughter was the main focus. But this is about raising money for a lot of kids out there that are suffering. That Stuff that we take for granted, they, they don't even have, not even half of. So it's very important for me to be here today. Hey, what's up? I'm Jay Sean. We're at Alicia Keys Blackball right here in London. Keep a child alive. You're watching SBTV. I went to the New York um, Blackball a couple of months ago. That was amazing. They had uh, Jay Z there performing, Sade performed, uh, Alicia Keys performed. So you know, and plus, of course, all the money went to charity, and, and a lot of money was 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 made for the for the charity. So I'm hoping that will happen again today. Well, what's good, people? You're watching SBTV at Alicia Keys. Keep a child alive, Black Bull. Oh yeah. You look very smart. Um, yeah, I try and scrub up a bit. I think I suit suits a bit. Mm. You suit suits. Yeah, you see what I done there. Nah, no, I liked it. I just thought that in a car. Yeah, you should be double. So Alicia's going all out for charity this evening. Yes, she is. Have you ever done anything crazy for charity yourself? No, I haven't, but I intend to tonight, so uh, hopefully we'll see how it goes, man. Um, I'm floating, so whatever happens, happens, man. I'm kind of going with the flow, going with the flow. Maybe after a few lemonades? Hopefully. So we're here at the Black Ball. Have you got a favourite kind of ball? <laughs> I'm not very well versed uh, in balls, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded pretty funny. Um, Are you uh, looking forward to this evening? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think it's a cool, really cool event. Um, amazing, in fact. Yeah, it's wicked. I'm really happy to be here. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. So you've got a new beard for the occasion. Looks very nice. Yeah, it's just sort of grow, grew. It just doesn't want to go away. A bit of a chin accessory. Yeah, why not? Uh, why Keeps not? me warm. Yeah, exactly. In the summer in London. Yeah, just when you need it. Exactly. Right? I'm just happy to be here though, it's a real big deal, um, it's, it's a real serious cause as well, so I'm happy to be here, kind of supporting it and kind of, you know, contributing in some way. It's been 10 years since she released Songs in A Minor, mm -hmm. do you find her career quite inspiring? Definitely, I think anybody who can maintain a career and be, be relevant for 10 years is someone to be idolised and, and inspired by, so yeah, definitely. Faith and you're watching SBTV at Keep a Child Alive. And it's all for charity tonight. Have you ever done anything kind of out there for charity in your time? Um, I went to school when I was little dressed as Tomato for Comet Belize. Hey, what's up? I'm Lamar and you're watching SBTV. Uh, the more that everybody can do to help someone else, you know, it's, it's always a good thing, and you know, it only takes a small effort, and she's doing her bit, and I think everyone on any level can do their bit. It's brilliant to see, you know, people stepping out and supporting an event, you know, rather than seeing it as everyone supporting a charity event, because I think there's such a stigma towards charities, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you hear something as a charity event, you think, oh, it's just people supporting a cause. If you're just seeing that, you know, Alicia Keys is in town and she's putting on an event and, you know, everyone's come out to, to support her, it's hot. So, it's been 10 years since you released songs in A minor. How have you stayed at the top of your game for so long? Uh, thank you so much. I mean, um, 10 years since songs in A minor was released, it's such an honor for me to be celebrating this right now. And to release the um, collector's edition and deluxe edition on June 28th is like a celebration, really a thank you for everybody who's, who's been with me through this entire journey the whole time. For me, every day I'm learning, you know, and every day I want to get better, every day I want to do more. And so I think that's how um, hopefully, you know, the music will continue to, to flow in that way. So I'm looking forward to like 50 more years 
of doing incredible music and incredible creative endeavors. Well, basically what we're able to do here tonight is we're able to raise money to provide the medicine for children and families who have AIDS um, and aren't able to afford it. And basically AIDS is a treatable disease and as long as you can access the medicine, you can live a very long life. So it seemed unfair when I went to Africa the first time and I would see children with no parents and they were like 15 or 14 years old and had to raise their younger brothers and sisters and their parents could have easily been saved but they weren't and so it seemed like you know just because of a person's economic status doesn't mean that they don't deserve to live so this is what our work focuses on and we also focus on the orphans that are a result of AIDS and um, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of a lot of you know there's a lot of things that we need to do but we can do it and I feel like we can end AIDS in its track we just have to care about it Stop.